know me, you might have known this already. I just love myself. Anyways, so yeah, I have 25 random facts. Let's start out with number one. Uh, my favorite color is red. It's like a, you know, I just I look really good in it. I'm turning 18 in less than three months. So I plan on having an 18th birthday party and I didn't plan on it before, but I was watching videos on YouTube and I was like, I can make this happen. I have a huge crush on this guy in my econ class. He's so attractive like i'm trying to get this guy to be my man i feel like every video is me talking about me with some guy and i swear i have no love life a song i play when i'm sad is yellow by coldplay and i hadn't really listened to that song before until um this guy who was in my math class last year had this playlist on spotify called sad boys and i was listening to it and i was like you know sometimes you just want to feel sad and he has all he has a huge playlist. It's hours long. Maybe we should have checked on him because maybe he was depressed because why would you have a playlist that was hours long about being sad? Instagram stresses me out. I don't post very often. I used to post once a week, but now I have to make sure, like for some reason, I care so much about how many likes I get and it doesn't matter, guys. How many likes you get doesn't matter, but to me it does. I don't know why I care. It just boosts my self-esteem. Whenever I do something even slightly bad, like, I just feel so guilty. I feel so guilty. Um, so I try to be a good kid, try to be nice. Um, I'm obviously my mom's favorite child. I talk to myself a lot. And I think it's because of YouTube. Because I'm like, I'm like talking to something. I'm obviously not talking to anybody because I'm just looking at the screen. But I think that's what started it. I am horrible with money. I have a lot of crushes on guys, you know, I'm like, he's cute, like I could see us together, hanging out, whatever. I think part of the part of my issue is is that once somebody actually likes me back, I'm uninterested. I think I just want the attention or I just want to flirt with somebody, maybe boost their self-esteem or something. I don't know what's wrong with me. But like I don't actually want a relationship. I get bored easily. I I didn't like my first job at Arby's because it was just like I hate customer service basically I hate having people just I, I'm impatient I think that's what it is because I don't want to wait for them to be like uh oh, can I get a I don't like oh, no get out of here I left that place to a different place it's still fast food but like it's not like Arby's McDonald's it's like a you can sit down and eat kind of like the food takes like 10 to 15 minutes to cook and we make it fresh uh but it's uh I don't know, I'm like kind of sick of it already and I'm really ready to turn 18 so that I can get in like a job in like retail or something, which is still customer service, but I don't know, I, just need, I, need, I need change, you know? I've been there since April, so that was like, like almost four months I've been working at this place and I'm just so ready to go. It's a great job though, it's so easy, you really don't have to do anything, I'm just so impatient, it gets old so quick. I could literally look you in the eye and lie to you. And you wouldn't even know i'm really great at keeping secrets but most importantly my own i am so good at keeping my own secret there's a lot of things that people don't know even rebecca she's always saying i know everything about you and i'm like girl <laughs> no you don't <laughs> okay it's just you know sometimes you just gotta be a stone cold soldier i am super i don't want to say conceited but like maybe vain because um i just i feel i just love when people talk about me you know um in in literature class today people were talking about my snapchat story and my youtube videos and they were like oh my god like i want to hear i'm not even kidding like 95 percent of the class maybe 90 90 percent of the class was super interested in like my youtube channel or my snapchat story and they were all like the entire class was just talking about me and i felt so flattered i was like oh my god guys keep talking i love this <laughs> i felt so flattered because like i used to get so much love and like then i started feeling judged like who has a youtube channel eh. and i'm like me bitch <laughs> eh. yeah i'm like kind of like super into myself i listened to the tiny meat game podcast religiously they're really funny guys it's cody co and noel miller super funny youtubers my favorite youtubers 
of all time like they're so funny and i enjoy their content so much i literally just got done listening to their an hour 15 minute podcast and it was hilarious i have a journal and it, it basically is the diary but like because like i don't want anybody to read it but it's not it's, it literally says journal on the cover i just write like thoughts and like memories that i want to keep around because i fear that i'm going to forget them so like either i have it on video I have it on camera you know like picture form or it's written down and that journal i've had it for maybe two years and i had a journal before that but i threw it in the trash because i was angry at something i don't know what it was i don't remember i'm so dramatic i've grown more insecure than i used to be that's for sure i think as i grow more and more into liking more and more guys i'm like oh well like this isn't right about me like this could be better and like he'd like i'm sure he'd like me more if i did this or that or whatever but you know it's like weird because i used to just be like yeah i'm that chick like people would be like you think you're all that and i'd be like hell yeah i do but yeah lately i've just been like Ugh. like sometimes i just like <laughs> Especially around this cute guy in my econ class, like I don't even want to talk to him sometimes because I just feel like I'm gonna mess it up. I am super obsessed with the chicken Caesar salad at Panera. I get a sweet tea to drink and it comes with a, like you can get a choice of a baguette, chips, or an apple and I always get the baguette and like all of that is just so good and I love it so much. I just ate at Panera and had a salad and a baguette while I was watching the podcast and doing some homework. So if you want to get me a Panera gift card for my birthday in November, I would uh... What I told my friends is, is that my ideal guy that I would love to date, tall, dark skin, athlete, smart, dark brown hair, dark brown eyes, funny. Did I say tall? My first crush, he was white. Well, he is, he's still white. <laughs> but he still has the brown hair and the brown eyes. But the guy that I like right now, he's white. And I think his hair is like dirty blonde or brown. And he has blue eyes. So I'm like... I mean, what's the point of having a type? You know, if you're not going to date that type. I think my type might be white, guys. Now that I think about it. But like, who cares, you know? I just want to be rich. People say that money can't buy you happiness. But if someone came up to me right now and were like, here's a million dollars you don't know what i do snapchat is my absolute favorite social media platform in one day i spent five hours on snapchat i learned how to ride a bike when i was 10 which is pretty late in the game a lot of people learn in like six or something better late than never though right i mean it could be worse i've grown more emotional and i don't really know how to handle it i'll just cry randomly now i used to never shed a tear unless i was laughing at someone else crying i spend countless hours a week just lip syncing in my bathroom i never clean it's that's probably my worst flaw i'm not gonna say it's my worst flaw it's awful like i it's so unsanitary how lazy i am about that but i don't want any kids and how cool it'd be to have a little me riding around <laughs> it'd be so tight see you next weekend don't forget to subscribe like share with your friends and fam and i'll see you next time